Richard Fox is a poet who was born and bred in Worcester, Massachusetts. He said that he attended Webster University as much an artist colony as college in the early 70s, and the diverse cultures of Worcester and Webster University shaped his worldview and love of words. And in 1990s, he had a morning drive time radio show called Cross Tracks, which was part interview and performance with singer songwriters and spoken word artists. And Richard uh, claimed that he was enriched by his guests and they pushed him out the door into poetry venues. In the early 2000s, uh, Richard went on not only to share his poetry and as a radio host, but was president of the Poetry Oasis, uh, located in Worcester, a wonderful poetry open mic, um, and also at the time managing editor of Worcester Poetry Journal Diner. And the goal for both of the this wor uh, these jobs, this work, was to grow poetry in Worcester and be a resource for new and established poets. In 2010, he, Richard was diagnosed with throat and tongue cancer and started treatment on Groundhog's Day and ended in June and has been cancer-free since. And um, Richard stated that his brain didn't clear enough to write poetry until 2012. And since then, he has been a support and resource to others in uh, helping to deal with cancer diagnosis and going through cancer and has been spokesperson on his blog and in his poetry readings as well. And uh, Richard uh, stated, uh, I've been asked if cancer changed me. There's no way for me to know. All that happened was in a series of slow cycles. I feel freer and more focused post-cancer. Perhaps the lessons of cancer affected my approach to living and sense of self. Cancer takes, but cancer gives. Every day is a gift. Richard is author of two poetry collections, Time Bomb and Wandering in Puzzle Boxes, and he's here to share some of his poetry with us this morning. Please give a warm welcome to Richard Fox. 